Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Markets Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources. How does the critical metal sector look to a company that supplies to it? I'm with Sid Supermani. He is a principal at Hatch. Uh, Sid, welcome to Kitco. Thank you for having me. Uh, Hatch has been in the mining supply sector for a very long time. Uh, you've obviously seen the critical sector grow up. Uh, tell us how it looks like compared to other operations. Well, I mean, I think there's multiple cycles. We've been in the critical metal space from the very beginning. Um, this cycle is obviously more focused on uh, battery materials. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very active in the lithium space. Mm -hmm. uh, but the shades are, are not unlike uh, what we've seen in previous cycles. It's just that... Uh, the challenges are a bit different and the advantages as well mm. uh, that the sector has uh, 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 is, 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 is there. Mm -hmm. Now, you really are a specialist because you're uh, down in Chile and Santiago where you're living right now, so you're close to uh, the main operations down there. Uh, what's the uh, landscape right now? Now, uh, looking at Hatch, you really have a focus on uh, direct lithium extraction, correct? Yeah, so we're across um, all the various technologies, the different routes. Uh, many of our clients have asked us to uh, uh, assess the different DOD technologies or recommend what would be the best uh, sort of route for their salar or their brine uh, or their application, wherever it comes from. Mm -hmm. We've also been supporting some DLE companies as they've been trying to scale up and uh, get across uh, to end customers. So we're really across the entire, uh, entire space. Mm -hmm. What's the state of DLA technology right now? Depends on what technology. They're all very, uh, they're all early stages. There's, uh, there's quite a bit of activity in this space, of course, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's uh, uh, looking at juniors, develop their more technology company that they're looking to scale up, yeah. uh, and some more established players that they're looking to commercialize. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, it's, it's all across the board. Uh, but the vast majority of the companies are in the, in the technology development and, uh, and um, um, uh, the proof of concept stage. Uh, do you have a sense at all of the investment that's uh, been going into the space? I mean, it, it, to me, it's been a little bit of opaque uh, data standing. So, like, I'm always thinking of, like, the battery metal recyclers, for instance, and we've seen, like, um, billions that have sure. gone into, like, your Redwoods or gone, you know, or, you know, the big announcements, like the Coke backing of what's happening with Lifecycle. Yeah. Again, is the investment significant in the direct lithium extraction? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the investments have been um, from the majors. Mm -hmm. um, such as Aramet, um, Rio Tinto, uh, but then also some of these uh, small technology development companies who've grown quite a bit over the last decade. They've been able to raise significant funds from investors. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say uh, estimate a number, but it's, it's definitely been significant for them to be able to scale up. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we right now uh, in terms of actually commercial production with DLE? So there, there are a few uh, uh, DLE commercial operations in, in mm -hmm. um, in currently, yeah, one of them being Livet, yes, uh, in Phoenix and in Argentina, it's mm -hmm. um, it's a hybrid DLE, but they've been operating for a while. Mm -hmm. It's a few operations in China as well uh, that are currently operating. Um, but I think at the moment, the one that is closest to starting up uh, or is in construction is, is Aramet's facility in in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Is uh, DLE going to be able to scale up and have a meaningful impact for uh, the production of lithium? I think as an industry, it would have to. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, the hope is that it will be. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's going to be hiccups along the way. DLE is not straightforward, not easy. I mean, uh, every technology has to be sort of or suited for the application. It is quite different. Um, mm -hmm. There are challenging challenges along the way. Um, so we're 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 very we're very optimistic, but cautiously optimistic. Because mm -hmm. I, I kind of look at that and I'm thinking that there's kind of like some very different projects where you're actually kind of applying, which I kind of acquainted with uh, DLE. So I think of E3 Metals as some of the other people around it. That's up in the Alberta oil field. You have yes. a salt and sea, which would have its own different type of chemicals fly over to Germany with uh, Vulcan as well, what they're trying to do as well, too. So, again, it sounds like you're kind of the challenge is going to be that you're going to have a different chemistry and different concentrations with each one of these projects. Yes, um, mm -hmm. and there's different, uh, diff different impurities that you have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, temperatures, and in, in the case of the geothermal brines. Mm -hmm. um, and so it isn't going to be one daily application that's going to work for all of them. It's going to be a variety of different applications and processes that would be required for the industry's scale. Mm. Uh, 
Many new mines are uh, adding a component around reduced emissions. Um, I believe that's an advantage with the LE, correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think, um, the from a from a Brian standpoint, um, DLE unlocks previously stranded assets. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are emissions advantages, uh, yeah. but there's also some disadvantages for some of them in terms of um, uh, water consumption. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some of the, some of the DLEs do require some uh, higher temperatures as well, mm -hmm. uh, or, or the brine to be treated at a higher temperature. So that could be challenging in. In the Puna in Argentina, or, um, or, uh, at four thousand, five thousand meters. Um, so, uh, but but on the face of it, the biggest advantage of DLE is that you know, you're able to ramp up much faster than the conventional conventional uh, evaporation. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of cost of this operation, say compared to a hard rock or uh, compared to a solar, for instance? Uh, I think I think the solar, the conventional route, will always be the cheapest. For yeah, the yeah, sport. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, the, it, the DLE um, opex will really depend on where it's applied, uh, what the what the uh, what the parameters and characteristics of the cell are, the brightness. Right. Um, but uh, it's it's going to be a wide range. Mm -hmm. um, at last, day I was said I was interested in what uh, you're looking forward to, what your impressions are of uh, the lithium sector. It's been kind of a real wild ride in 2023. Uh, we see uh, the uh, Chinese automakers kind of coming to the fore. Uh, we've seen the real swings in uh, lithium prices. Uh, what are you looking forward to? I think the volatility is here to stay. It's going to be here yeah. for a while. There's going to be, I mean, we can all, we all see the supply and demand gaps. Um, but the, the number one challenge the industry has is that we need projects to come online. We need the industry to scale. Mm -hmm. uh, and that requires growth across the sector, across the value chain from engineers, from construction, from equipment manufacturers, from operators. The industry really has a, a pretty tall order in front of it. We're very busy. Uh, it would be wonderful for us to sort of scale ourselves. Uh, we're, we're finding that we're getting, cusp we, you know, we're unfortunately have to balance um, what we can do, what our capacity is as a company. Um, but we would like to be everywhere. Uh, and unfortunately, mm. we, ju we just can't. Sid, thank you for speaking with Kitco. Thank you so much. My name is Michael Luck here at Fast Market's 15th Lithium Supply and Raw Battery Materials Show here in Henderson, Nevada. Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Market's Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources.